Hi, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to use the Google Maps API with your Ionic Framework Android iOS application. So the first thing that we want to do is we want to go ahead and create a new project. Let's go ahead and open up our terminal and type in the following. Since I'm on Ubuntu, I'm uh, which is Linux, I'm only going to be building for Android. If you're on a Mac, you can also build for Mac. Alright, with that done, let's go ahead and CD into our project. The So, with our new project, let's go ahead and, and, and check out the directory structure here. We're going to go ahead and open up the www folder and then the index.html file. So, the first thing that we want to do is we're actually going to be using the Google Maps JavaScript uh, SDK, which you can find on Google's website. So in our index.html file, let's go right before the end of the body tag, and we're going to go ahead and add this JavaScript uh, SDK. And you can see I um, I am adding a key in there. You need to go ahead and register your own uh, key inside of the uh, Google API console. All right, let's go ahead and save that. So with with the um, SDK added to our project, let's go ahead and open up our CSS folder and then styles.css. We need to make a, a small adjustment. We're going to make the scroll height 100% and we're going to make the map height and width 100%. Alright, with that said and done, let's go back to our index.html file. We need to go ahead and add where this map is going to appear. So in between the ion content tags, let's go ahead and add the following. So it's got this DOM element right here is going to be where the map is displayed and we uh, did the data tab disabled too because if we don't, there's some issues where if you try to scroll around on the map, it won't work. So by adding this, scrolling and zooming uh, will all work on the, on the map itself. So let's save that and now we're going to open up our app.js file inside of our JavaScript directory. So let's go ahead and let's call this um, example. And we're going to create a new controller. I'm going to call that map controller. It's going to include a scope. All right. So now we get into the um, stuff that's heavily related to the Google Maps API. So let's start by doing the following. All right, so now we've got a listener for our map which we can now start to add content to. So let's go ahead and set up a new um, center point here that our map is going to center onto. And that's where our where uh, we're going to say our current location is, which is a center point. Now we're going to add some, some options for our map. 
And like I said, the center is going to be the variable that we just declared. We're going to have a zoom of 16, which should be pretty decent for um, a starting point. We're going to say it's a road map uh, versus street view or walking or bicycling. And let's close that off. The next step is we want to get the DOM element which is going to hold our map. So let's go ahead and do the following. got our map um, where it's going to be displayed, the container. Um, let's go ahead and work to display this map. So we're going to do scope map equals, if I can type, alright. One thing that we still need to do is we need to actually add this controller to uh, our index.html file. So what I did um, was added it to our ion content. So that way when our ion content is hit, the map controller is run and it loads the map into our um, div. So let's go ahead and open up our Firefox and you can see that it loads the map in full screen. Um, to verify this, let's go ahead and compile it on our device. I'm going to build for Android. Oh, I didn't add the platform, so Ionic platform at Android. Now I'm going to do the build command I had tried to do. takes just a little bit on my computer. Alright, so with that set and done, let's go ahead and install it to our simulator or device. Oops. And as you can see, we've got a Google map that we can drag around and do all the fun stuff that we wanted to do with it. So, this is just a very basic example. You could always um, take this up a notch. You have the option of adding the geolocation plugin from Apache Cordova, which uh, would look something like this. And then if you wanted, um, you could then add stuff wrapped around geolocation. So for example, you could do the following. This is the typical command for uh, getting the current geolocation, and then you can just plug that directly into the map. So it would be map.setCenter,
and just like that it would hover to where you are. And I believe this, this plugin also, uh, it might work in the browser. Let's go ahead and see. I want to share my location. And yeah, it does work in the browser as well. You can see I live somewhere over here. I'm not going to say where. Um, just like that, you have a perfectly fine working Google Map example. A lot of the comments on my blog actually say that there is some trouble using the, the window as your uh, DOM listener. I personally have found no issues with it. Um, a lot of people say that you can replace window with div. Um, there's also people reporting that um, it works best to create a function and then pass it into the DOM listener rather than um, kind of nest it. Again, I, I haven't experienced any of these problems as you can see from this video tutorial. Um, so it, it, it'll, it'll vary, you'll have to play around with it. If you like this video and are interested in seeing what else I have to offer, please subscribe to my channel as well as my written web blog. Thank you.